everyone, it's Pete again from the ALF Zero Dev team, and in this part, I would like to show you how to actually make the node validate. And well, what, what I'm going to do is basically follow the guide, just like everyone else. But uh, hopefully, I'll be able to give you some <laughs> bonus content for the video viewers. Um, so, first of all when you want to actually make the node validate, you need to make sure that your node is synced and that it's running and everything is okay. So you can do that by simply viewing the logs, uh, just as discussed in the, in, in, the, in the first part. And this is more or less what the synced node looks like, some imported statements. Um, so you don't see this, this syncing part and yeah, so we're good to go. And by the way, I am viewing this by running docker logs dash dash follow and my node's name that I've chosen in the in the first step. Yeah, so everything seems seems good. So let me just come come back here. And yeah, as I mentioned previously, I'm using the polka.js browser extension to manage the accounts. I have two of them here. Uh, I have set my on-chain identity so so yeah so once i show up in the list everyone will see who i am so now what we can do is is actually create the create the stash and in order to do that you you will need to be able to bond 25k t0 which is the testnet currency as you can see here so i i i have this on on my in my stash account and the way to get this is to go to faucet test a0 dev and basically paste your address here and you know solve the captcha and and make it rain and you can get your your address simply by clicking on your account's name and clicking copy here simple as that by the way you can verify that your identity is set just by looking here same same procedure all right so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the network staking part and then go to accounts and add a stash. Right. So for the stash account, I'm actually not going to choose my, my main account. I'm going to choose the stash account and I'm going to bond the required 25 something uh, K T0 by the way please note that T0 is basically a free currency so you don't need to worry about you know losing any money this is the case on on testnet and uh, also a thing to note is that the testnet and T0 is completely different from the mainnet and A0 so please don't try to send your A0 to your testnet address because this is not going to work and you're going to definitely lose your money. Uh, so, so yeah, please be, be warned. And let's click bond. As, as per usual, sign and submit. I'm going to enter my password. Oh, maybe actually remember it. Right. And you can see I have, I have the 25k T0 bonded. So we can go to the next step. And now we need to generate the session keys. And the important part here is that this is the way of basically binding your, your stash account to the actual node that you're running. So in order to do that, we need to make sure that we are actually running this from our node which means connecting the wallet to our node and not some testnet node that the wallet by default connects to. And here you have the, you know, local host address and the port 9944. And of course, if you use a different port other than the default one here in your configuration, then you need to change it here. But in general, uh, for for most of you, it should be the correct address. I'm gonna click switch, and yes, now our wallet is connected to 
to my node that's running on my computer, which is which is good. Okay, to the next step. Um, well, setting the keys is actually calling the the RPC call rotate keys. So we're going to need to head to developer RPC calls and call author rotate keys. Yes, simple as that. No arguments. And please note that you can also do it with with curl, just by copy copy pasting this this command here, which might be useful in some setups. But I have it on my machine, so I, I can attach the graphical interface, and everything is simple as that. Now we are gonna need this this key that it generated for us in the next step. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy it. You can of course save it to, to some uh, temporary, you know, uh, like a note or something. Just please, you know, make sure you don't share it, save it somewhere insecure or something like that. Um, now we're gonna go back to the network staking tab and sorry accounts and here I have the option to actually set my session key so I'm gonna go ahead and paste what I what I copied previously the result of author rotate keys and I'm gonna set the session key as per usual sign and submit enter the password Hope I got it right. Seems I did. Okay. So as you can see, what appears now is the. Let me actually resize this. Uh, I have this validate button that I can go ahead and click. As you can see, that's the next thing. Next thing in a guide. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep the defaults here. Uh, so yes, allow nominations by all means. Let's click validate. Of course, sign and submit. Ugh, seems my remember password didn't work too well. All right, so now if everything was okay, when I go to overview wait a second I should see myself in the in the validators list actually let's try going to all validators and waiting because this is the waiting list is all the validators that are not in the active committee and we should be able to see me here yeah here I am and you can see that the identity that we've set in the in the previous part is actually showing here. So you know everyone can go ahead and uh, verify my info if I also put my website or or Twitter here. Everyone will be able to see it. Uh, yes. So now what's left to do is go to the next part of the of the guides and actually fill the form and register so that the ALS0 team can, can verify you and like I said before this is a way of preventing any you know, malicious spammy civil attacks that we need to do on the testnet because the, the money here is not actually worth anything so nothing's preventing you from printing like, a lot of accounts so we need to be quite careful in order to keep the network you know, secure and clean and everything um, and once you actually register as the validator we will we will process your submission and uh, you'll be asked to input some input some some results of the signer script that's included in the ALF node runner repository which I think I can show you uh, it's here, the signer.sh, so I can actually go ahead and run it. When I use your 
P2P secret to generate and your peer ID to, to generate some, some stuff that you're gonna paste into the form. It's as simple as that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And uh, one thing about the form is that in order to like maximize your chance of getting admitted to the network, it's, it's best if the name that you use in the, in the form is actually the same as the name here and the name that you used in telemetry. And I'm actually guilty of forgetting about it myself because the name I, ch I chose here is different from the name of my node. But, but yes, I'm just doing this for testing purposes. But please uh, keep you in mind that, that having all those three be the same is, is actually your best chance of, of getting it. So yeah, that, that would be it. And of course, if you have any problems, uh, don't hesitate to write to us on Discord, on Twitter, Telegram. We are always there to answer your questions and help you out. Thanks a lot and see you on Discord and Telegram. Bye.